Shadowlands. The Shadowlands Alpha. It's 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 basically here. Uh, so today, just today, uh, this is Monday, April sixth. Uh, Ian tweeted out a developer update that let us all know that the Alpha for Shadowlands is coming out this week. Like 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 right like soon like a couple days uh and i'm so excited so uh, essentially uh i'm gonna be covering this as much as i can i'm hoping to get into the alpha uh day one and and cover everything uh, that i possibly can i'm talking the level squish for sure uh the new content uh the deep pruning uh everything that i can possibly get out on youtube uh, that's my goal that's my i'm gonna uh, listen i'm gonna try uh but today uh it starts now right the coverage for Shadowlands it's it starts right now so I wanted to go over um the actual Shadowlands developer update that we got today because I think there's actually some really cool things in here that I want to talk about um so again this is the Shadowlands developer update it literally just came out today um so let's go ahead let's jump into it it's been five months since we first revealed our World of Warcraft Shadowlands expansion at BlizzCon 2019 and the whole team has been at work transforming the vision we laid out last November into a reality and we can't wait to share our progress with all of you later this week we will send out our first round of invitations to a closed alpha test for shadowlands <sighs> uh, this first batch of invitations will mainly go out to longtime wow players with active accounts in good standing as well as blizzard friends and family along with a limited number of content creators and journalists this initial wave represents only a small fraction of the pool of testers that will ultimately gain access to the test in the coming months if you're interested in making uh, Shadowlands better, sign up using that link right there. I'll also put it in the description of this video so that you can also sign up for it, which make sure you do because the more people that we have signed up to test Shadowlands, the better the product will be. So make sure if you get into Shadowlands, please test things uh, and, and, and voice your concerns, uh, voice your opinions, say the things that you are also really enjoying in the expan in, in the in the Shadowlands stuff um, that that is actually super helpful too right is is saying what you enjoy uh as we engage in focused pvp and raid testing we'll also do some targeted invite waves that prioritize players with extensive experience or es expertise in those parts of the game so i'm assuming they'll probably just go off of like your battle net achievement stuff you know when the alpha servers go live so this is this week we will have the full level up experience in the zone of bastion available bastion is the zone uh with the Krapari covenant or Krapari. um but they are the uh the, it's the same zone that was available in the demo the blizzcon demo if you got a chance to play that uh, along with its accompanying dungeon the necrotic wake so we'll be able to do the the full level up experience in bastion as well as the dungeon right away uh, testers who are interested in checking out our revamped new player experience can also play through the Alliance version of the new zone and tutorials, which I'm super, super excited about. I know there's some controversy about the level squish, but like I'm 100% on board. I think the less levels there are, the more impactful each level is when you level up. Uh, so I'm very, very excited to see this. And also, I think it just uh, uh, kind of making it more uh, cohesive when you're leveling and, and like the story doesn't feel like you're hip hopping all over the place. Uh, I'm very excited to see that later this month, though, we will also have the zone of Revendreth as well as a look at Torghast, the Tower of the Damned, our endless dungeon experience. So that is probably one of the features I am most excited about coming into Shadowlands is Torghast. Also, with that said, it's the most things that can go wrong, right? Uh, so that I hope that people test that extensively. I know I will be. Um, especially on different classes, like if you're soloing it as a healer, what is that going to be like? If you're soloing it as a tank, what is that going to be like? We'll continue to unlock content such as zones, dungeons, and endgame quest lines when they're ready for feedback using template characters as needed to focus testing and feedback on specific parts of the game. It's awesome that they're doing it this way. If they just released everything and you, it was, you know, uh, uh, a pool. Why am I not in focus? There we go. If it was just like a pool of everything that you could possibly do, we wouldn't have any central focus. And I think that that's super important for something like Shadowlands. We get to look at each individual piece uh, and, and really, really hammer home what what is going on with that, what we think of it. So that's super cool. Uh, once everything has been released into the test environment, we'll officially move into a beta phase, wiping all characters and kicking off a larger round of invites for an end-to-end -end test of the entire uh, Shadowlands expansion uh, experience. So I, I think that I think that's the way to go. 
Uh, while content will be rolled out methodically over the course of the alpha, many of our underlying system changes will be apparent from the moment players first log in later this week, and there will be hints of others that are still in progress. So this is where it gets good, because we're getting a taste of what is already going to be available as soon as the day one alpha testers are getting in there. So you can bet your booty uh, that we're going to see a lot of videos based around these things that they go into right now. Players of all 12 classes will immediately see changes in their spellbooks, talents, and this is the big one, and in some cases, even their resources. So I I don't know. I, I can't even I'm I'm like trying to think of what uh, what classes will see resource changes for. And I, I honestly am not sure. Uh, are they going to be moving away from the idea of mana? Like, I don't for everything. I, I don't know. Um, so I'm, I am excited to see what that is because mana now is kind of like, you know what I mean? It's kind of irrelevant, right? Um, so I am curious to see what they end up doing with that. Is it, is it more, are they changing more central or uh, more thematic, uh, resources like holy power or fury? Uh, I, I don't know. We'll have a separate blog coming out in the coming days discussing how we applied the class design philosophies we laid out at BlizzCon and giving key examples of the sort of changes to expect for each class in their specializations. Unlike the last couple of expansion alphas, where the conversation with the community often began with us saying, let us know which spells you miss most, this time around we're eager to hear whether we've gone too far with on pruning. Which... No, you didn't. You, <laughs> you didn't. Uh, the more the more stuff that we can play around with, the more things that round out our class uh, in, in our specs, I think the better. The more outplay... The, you, the player should decide if that goes on their bars or not. You know what I mean? Uh, we have been making, and we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, we've been making improvements. Uh, this one I'm actually really excited about. Uh, for anybody that does watch me knows I, I love leveling. I love alts. I, I, I think it's fun. I enjoy the story of WoW. Uh, I enjoy questing. It, you know, it's relaxing. Um, we've been making improvements to our quest interface with an eye toward better distinguishing major quests that are required to advance the narrative from optional side quests that tell more localized stories so that's great because that means that you don't have to do that whole thorn zone in stormsong valley because the quest will actually tell you this is irrelevant this is just setting up a world quest which is great uh i it's like the for any of one that's played final fantasy 14 i'm sure it'll be something like that it'll just be a, a unique marker uh, over that that quest right our work in progress 3d indicator of tracked quest objective locations will be available to use 3d mapping in shadowlands that's awesome which aims to reduce the need to bring up the map when navigating the world and help more clearly identify when an objective is above or below you we're also rolling out a system that allows players to set a personal waypoint on the map as well as share that pin in chat channels so that you should no longer need an add-on to convey exactly where rust feather feather just spawned which means when you post oh rust feather up you don't have to also go in post coordinates because everyone in chat yells at you uh that you didn't and they don't know where it is even though they've been playing the damn patch for three months also of note are some changes to pvp currencies guys guys this one's huge notably conquest is once again in a spendable currency earned through shadowlands rated pvp Players will be able to use conquest points to purchase specific items of their choice from a vendor. In the capital city of Oribos, in an easy to find location, naturally, conquest can also be used to upgrade that gear further. Yeah! Nice. We'll have lots more information to share on the details of the system as well as our broader end game itemization plans as the alpha rolls on and we reach max level content. I'm very, very excited to see what they end up doing with this. Like I said earlier with the leveling, the less levels there are, the more impactful each level you get is. And I think that this gear thing could potentially be that too. I remember I was I was most fond of uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, one of my favorite things to do in Wrath was to spam heroics over and over so I could farm badges so I could buy gear. Like that was... I, I really enjoyed doing that. That was something that I, I liked. Um, so being able to earn currency by doing stuff that you enjoy or whatever, and being able to target your specific item is huge. And I'm hoping that this isn't just the case with PVP gear. I am hoping that they do something similar uh, in a way uh, for PVE gear as well. Um, just because, you know, if you do the same mythics over and over and you're still not getting that piece, it is nice to be like, okay, but I farmed this currency and now I can use it to, to supplement what I'm already getting. So 
I'm very excited to see what they end up doing with that. As our community and fan sites dig into the game files that are packaged with the client in the coming days, so probably uh, today or tomorrow, uh, you'll also doubtless find bits and pieces of data relating to endgame systems like soul binds, uh, which are the the you you bind your soul with with another hero or, or character's soul and you get a unique ability uh the covenant sanctums so where each one is located and crafted legendary items yeah <sighs> much of these features remain a work in progress and especially in an alpha setting the game's data contains numerous experiments and discarded ideas so please take what you uh, might find via data mining with a grain of salt we remain guided by the core philosophies that we articulated at blizzcon player agency and empowering choices love it uh, we can't wait to share these details with the uh, details of these systems with you as soon as we're able. One of our main lessons learned from past expansions is the vital importance of carving out a large window in our alpha and beta for feedback and iteration on these end game systems. Thank you for your patience, and we'll see you soon, no TM, in the Shadowlands. Ian, do we look at the do we look at the con no, I'm just kidding. Don't look at the don't look at the forms. So uh, I'm I'm very excited. Uh, this is uh, great to hear that. Uh, we're here we're, like we're here the shadowlands is it's here right um this week we'll be getting it so i want to hear from you guys uh if there's anything in particular that if i do happen to get into the um the alpha of shadowlands day one or early uh is there any type of content that you would want me specifically to cover um maybe it's maybe it's my opinion on the character customization or the leveling thing i know for me one of the a few of the big things that i'm really looking forward to checking out in shadowlands is the leveling experience uh again i know that's not for everybody but for me and a lot of people that i know um this is that's actually going to be super cool and i i know that that was one of the things that i loved about my time in classic was the leveling um, and not so much the end game. So I'd really like to check out what the leveling is going to be now in Shadowlands. And, and hopefully you guys want to see something in that regard too. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, to stay up to date. I'm going to be posting as many things as I possibly can covering the Shadowlands alpha. Um, and I, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm also streaming over on twitch.tv slash missile online. That's more of a uh, exploratory stream when I am streaming alpha it's not going to be so much as the deep dives the deep dives will be reserved for for video content so people can pick and choose if they actually want to see that but if you want to see just the basic uh, exploring zones and stuff like that I will be streaming um, the alpha on twitch.tv slash missile dine online uh, I hope to see you guys there I'm recording a video anyways uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching uh, please subscribe uh, hit that like button and uh, follow me over on twitch all right I love you never give up never surrender See you in Shadowlands.